A perfect Natasha. It truly was. I want to take you to a place that, well, I'd like to go to one day. Uh, I don't have a boat, but if you have a boat, you let me know. We'll, we'll head out to Orchard Point. Mar this is just west of Eugene. And now I love this time lapse because it really gives you a sense of how the air quality played a role in the way the sky appeared. Watch throughout the day. It's mostly blue. And then look at the end of the day. It is orange right there. Ooh, so we are watching carefully this weekend air quality, where the smoke's going to go and the wind possibly pushing some of those fires beyond their breaking point. Let's go over to Lincoln City right now. We can see not quite a full moon just yet, about uh, roughly 84% of it actually illuminated. In a few days, we'll have that full, full moon. 59 degrees right now. Lincoln City, let's go over to Kalama. Pretty on the water. It's 60 degrees there. Looking like a really nice night, and so far things are calm, but all that changes. In fact, you'll notice the wind starting to pick up tomorrow right around, I'd say, noon, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But look at 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, even right around 2. Portland, 20 to 25. Over to Cascade Locks, through the gorge especially, that's where the wind's going to come rushing through. 35 to almost 45 mile per hour gusts, and then right around Mount Hood, just north of the White River fire up to about 30 miles per hour. So locally, we can see even stronger winds appearing. This all associated with the trough of low pressure, which is not going to be bringing any rain to us until perhaps we get to Monday morning. We'll be giving you some posts on that. But Sunday night, wind picks up a little bit more again. But overall, the biggest day for wind is going to be tomorrow with a red flag warning going into place, basically from the Cascades areas out to the east. So let's talk about that wind direction overall this will be coming from the west northwest all that changes though as we get to monday look at monday so a chance we could see a little bit of drizzle showing up along the coast most of this happening really in western washington and the northwest corner of oregon in the foothills you might get a couple sprinkles in the morning otherwise not really a big deal but what is a big deal is what happens with our wind direction on monday so far most of that smoke has been hanging out on the east side of the cascades that's been the prevalent wind direction. It changes as we get to Monday night. We could see more of that offshore flow developing. So winds coming out of the east northeast, pushing all that wildfire smoke up and over the Cascades is one possibility, at least coming through those gaps and filling into the Willamette Valley. So that's something to we're going to be watching out for as we get to Monday night. Hey, Bill and Ted, I don't know if you've heard of the movie, but I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to put it in your weekend forecast temperatures for you tomorrow. There we go. 76 now. Jeff says that he wasn't born when this movie first came out. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> but yeah. 76 is your high tomorrow. Sunday, 80 degrees. You'll have mostly sunny skies. Uh, tomorrow, do be prepared for some clouds to start off your day, keeping things nice and cool and, again, very windy. Look at the big heat up by the time we get to the next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, close to 90 degrees. All right. Thanks, Natasha.